either way, here we got Salem versus the Buzz. And you know, we're talking about multiple characters in Counterfeit. Salem's another one of those players that has a bunch of characters under his sleeve to work with. Dang, two low tiers duking it. Oh, wait. Oh, it's not the summer anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> two top tiers, actually, duking it out. FD game one. You haven't seen this too often. Maybe it's because uh, Salem has a little more space here to understand, you know. Well, he wants to get away from these white Pikmin. He wants to get away from all of our space. Sort of feel him out a little bit. Yeah, if he was watching, we saw the boss earlier on, like, literally sacrificing the Pikmin to the grenades. Completely negating that Nikita right there and actually just throwing them around it and hitting the buzz. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Salem. Right. Flanking on the shield. Salem, considered to be the most patient snake there is. Almost definitely. He, he, we're talking about timing out earlier on, but this is a set that I actually would not be surprised if yeah. he does get time. Definitely, definitely shades of Bayo. And I'm wondering right now what all our, or what Pikmin combination the Buzz is going to opt to use against uh, Salem Snake, right? We saw earlier the Red Pikmin goes through the explosions. Yeah, because of fire interacting with the grenades as well. That's that's actually what right. I was going to say, like the Red Pikmin and the two double purple Pikmin as well. I, I really do think that the, the, the game winner here is going to be how the Buzz uses that blue Pikmin. Of course, the blue Pikmin has the strongest grabs. You yeah. want to use grabs, you want to keep that distance between you and Snake. Yeah, you can use a purple and go close to him as, as you want, but every time you go close to Snake, it's a, it's a chance. Almar is a very light character, but as we saw right there, the Buzz finding the up air once again in the first stock. Yeah, you saw he just really just stood still and waited to see where Salem was going to go before fishing for that up air. Right. Wasn't even going to try to overcommit and just toss it out to the full space. Like, just timed it perfectly to see where he was going to be. It's that grab that you were talking about. It's a fair, but it falls susceptible to getting C4 by the ledge. Exactly. And that's something, oh, you know what? We're talking about, like, why the stage? The C4 kind of blends in with the final destination. Like, I am noticing yeah. that, and I really do think, like, they should have made C4 this, like, neon red thing, but then I mean, it wouldn't be as obvious, yeah. right? Then you would just always go to Pokemon Stadium and just put it on the Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, there, there's some there's some skins in this game where the state, where the character, like, blends in. Like, like Green Fox just blends into Pokemon Stadium. All right, grenade again. Oh, just barely avoiding that. He's the recovery to maneuver himself around Salem. I like the fact that the buzz comes down with that back here, eat that shield away, and if Salem stands still, that's just a free kill because he just goes for up smash right after that. Literally just tossing at him, just around the key too. He's right. not, not even having to approach. Although, like, uh, although uh, Salem could just deal all this extra damage, like, the buzz could do exactly the same thing from the same amount of distance. Exactly. All right, the white is on Salem. One, he got it off really quickly. 166 right now. I think an, any up smash at this point will kill from the buzz. Regardless of the color. There's patience right now for these players. Okay, there's a blue. But he's also dealing damage on them every time he slaps them against a grenade. Right. And I call this the ultimate lineup right here, too. They have the double purple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, double oh, purple. Never mind. As I just said, that, he literally kicked him away. Okay, Nikita. He's literally can sacrificing we, his Pikmin. This is actually horrible. Can we, can we get, can we, <laughs> he's actually just sacrificing them. Can we get an F in the chat for that little innocent killer Pikmin? They all have names too. He was he was just doing his best. <laughs> Took the hit. Took one for the team. I remember that. All of the names, Red Pikmin being Lawrence, Yellow Sandy. Yo, got F, Billy. F in the chat for Sandy. Uh, poor Lawrence too right here. Oh, we got the fair coming out. We're waiting here. Buzz getting an early lead. What's the answer? Down smash into the grenade. Now the buzz is gonna say, you're gonna come towards me. Ooh, missing the up smash though. Very odd miss from the buzz. Oh, I love that quick plug into a into a reverse grab. Jab, jab, down tilt. Ooh! Actually some good mix up here from the buzz. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. There's jab down the shield. Wow! So oh much my damage! Oh wow, he really went all the way up there. He knew he was gonna recover up high too. Uh yo, Samuel, can you calm down? Can you chill for a second? No chill. This is just a war zone right now. And instead of grenades, I'm bringing my Pikmin to this fight. Yeah, all right, he has a lead as big as his nose right now. Waiting one time. The purple on deck back air is going to do it. That the was really well-spaced back air, too. Yep. Short hop into the back air using the purple Pikmin, of course. Isn't it crazy? Pikmin. Isn't it crazy like how much percent you can just deal off? Like, one time you hit the two, then three, and four, then 20, and then you're at 110. And also, you have to like, think about, like, what can Salem do to get these Pikmin off of him? Although, like, blow himself up. I'm just thinking, like, maybe even down air, like, out of shield or something like that, but... He's gonna kind of just have to take the percent too for the most part because uh, the buzz you already see, he's just waiting for a proper opening to just go extra ham as we saw at the very last second there. Now it's worth noting that, 
you know, Salem, he's obviously a snake main now, but he's dabbled with a lot of characters. There's been rumors of a Bayo, he had his Link from starting up, and you really haven't seen much of a switch from him in any event he's entered. It's always been the straight snake all the way through. Yeah, I mean, I saw him use, what, oh, I saw him use Palu in doubles, I saw him use, like, Shulk in doubles. Salem is, like, trying to mess around with a lot of characters, but I feel like his main that he feels the most comfortable with is definitely snake. I always feel, I mean, there's no end-all, be-all rule to it, but it just really is, like, if you are got tier with three characters, then you got tier with three characters. Sometimes you're a variety player, sometimes you're a specialist. Yeah, that means like, that you'll be gone like in spot strike, so. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the need to King. See how he snuck in with the C4 on that top platform there, which, by the way, in this stage in particularly, I feel like if Olimar is by the slant, he may low profile, like, below the C4, yeah. so. Do you think do you think someone here because of that slant or because of the size of the stage? Um, I feel like... I feel like the slant actually really helps it. It probably helps it. I feel like state it's, size is also a pretty big factor of it, but slant like many things. We also think about the like, grenade rolling too. One thing I'm noticing too that Buzz is doing a lot is that he's throwing the purple, which does obviously shield damage, and then the opponent Salem thinks, okay, I have an opening now. The moment he rushes Adam, he has a forward smash ready for him. It's actually a mousetrap. <laughs> I need to respect it too. Okay, dash attack. Nikita. This should kill. Like, oh, he's, he's too fast. He's literally too fast for the like momentum yeah, wise. I have no idea. Because you know how the Nikita the longer comes out, you see how it slows down little by little. But and attack, I like yeah, it. He was ready for it. Big brain plays by the buzz. That pluck insta throw is like lagless. All right, Cypher once again. Ooh, that's C4. I, I, I would have been confused. I thought it was going to hit me. Okay. Well, actually, just four, just four tilt to get rid of this pick one. Another option that he could definitely do in this matchup. But landing on that platform, the buzz is ready for him. That upper will kill, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, Sticky? Oh, oh yes, sticky. You, you saw it, you saw it. <laughs> I was like, he definitely just stuck him. I don't know if you recognized that. So close to the blast like that, that right. definitely was going to blow him up. I like st Stickies are hype. Because it all takes us one setup. Ooh. Oh, calling out the roll right there with the down smash. Dude, his mind. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, his mind. Now waiting. I, actually, I like it. Back here to double hits with four tilt. Surprised the button answer though. Okay, great grab. Forward throw. Sending him way far. And another thing to note is that whenever Snake does down tilt, it actually sets him up into crowds like frame one. So he could just try to low profile by the slant there. So that's what I thought about right now as he was using the down tilt to get the picking away. Even for sense right here. Two stock a piece. The back here, nice for the buzz to wait until that shield went down last second. Now Sam has to go for a little mix up. Two grenades and a C4 to keep him safe at the top. And C4 being that high up on the platform too, you want to see that Salem's gonna want to go for that grab. Up no kills there. Yeah, I'm talking about grab, all the more grab killing right there. And there's two purples and a red. He's ready to go. He's primed. Which prime? Oh, oh yeah, as he tosses the purple Pikmin, yes. he got that Twitch prime out here. Done. Look at that. 50. 61, 74, I'm counting. I know my prime numbers, that's not one of them. Oh, Damn! Oh, smash though? Where, where does Lee go? This was not even. existent, not I, existent. What happened? This is exactly what happened in game one. It's like, it's even, I look down, I, I breathe away from the mic, and then I come back up, and it's done. The buzz destroying Salem that game two. On our last stock. Very, very well Salem played. Salem looks a little, uh, a little flustered. A little yeah, a little confused. And the buzz finding himself now one game away once again from entering yet another top eight and an already illustrious Smash Bros. career. No way. Are we gonna see it? Do it. I dare you. I want to see someone with Mega Man because I've never seen this before. Oh. You won't. No way. I, I remember no, there's when no I said that he just plays a bunch of characters. There's no. I, Villager wouldn't make any. Yo. Okay. Oh this my. could work. This could actually oh. low key work. I would be so hyped. I would be so hyped if the Sa if Salem took. Okay. Oh, he's All right. feeling it! All right, but you have to you have to go like the good Shulk skin. Where's Swift Suit Shulk? Uh, the, no. the heck? Debatable. The, whoa. Debatable. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my boy Shulk, who do you? Uh, made me want to quit this game. This is the Monado power, man. You ever play Pup against Shulk? <laughs> oh my God, I would die. Where do you even go? In I'd, the I'd air? rather I'd rather put a cheese grater to my elbow than <laughs> oh my, play that match. The again. bear probably just literally just doesn't let you. I'm move. not gonna talk about it with you. <laughs> We're not talking about it. We're talking about this match and not that matchup, which isn't really bad. Right. He's going choke. He's down 2-0. He's, he's in losers. His tournament stock or life on the line right here. He's fielding. I've never seen this, this show play before. Now we're gonna wait. All right. 
Like but, vanilla silk too. He's not even switching right now. No need. Can you, ma can you imagine what if what the the balls? balls so just play, play so stroke just play with, with, no with no art. No art. I'd be. I'd feel so disrespected. <laughs> no, no art. That would be so <laughs> funny. He hasn't switched yet. I mean, good right here, shield. You can switch it to shield while you're getting hit. Um, because that's the thing, because arts can be switched and deactivated like at any time. Choke isn't in an animation, like yeah. being grabbed or in hit lag, even like during hit stun or landing lag. Great tech right there from Salem to stay alive while the Buzz trying to go for a spike. I like what Salem is doing on the ground. He's finding the option the moment the Buzz goes for his aerial, which has a lot of damage on the shield. But he's really, really good at using Shulk's range to find an opening, even with that stun on the shield. That's why I actually don't disagree with this pick too, because also like Shulk with Smash are on to literally just blow up all of them. Oh, dude, Shoko Smash. That's what I mean. If you know how to use arts, this character is actually ridiculous. Shield again. Stay alive a lot longer. Yeah, and the arts actually last a different time, too. Like, I, mean, I believe if you actually hit Shulk, like, and show it, like, it goes away faster, but for the most part, it should, it breaks in, like, six seconds. Yeah, the buzz is actually swinging with so many purple hits, not landing a single one. It's still at 129, a purple hit will kill him right there. Safe nares for both players. Back here, finding it. Edge grab opportunity, maybe. And of course, Shulk can also be. Obviously, use that up B rising as an edge guard tool. You yeah. have to make sure you find it first. Look at his patience as he angles his shield up too, so that way the Pikmin don't shield poke him. And there's the smash. Oh, the smash, as he calls it. <laughs> British voice actor. Oh, the spacing on the back air. There's the shield again. That's actually clever. This yep. might actually be a really good pick. 173, and he went nowhere. All right, grabbing, forward throw. The oh, jump. He's actually able to contest them off stage here. Air Jordan? Oh, you saw the air slash coming out doing exactly oh. what you predicted, but the backer coming out instead. Are you gonna go low? The Madman! Okay, Salem getting the first stock. This might actually work. Alright, switching to shield. Perfect timing on that, avoiding these double up airs though. He needs to find his way back onto the stage so that way he doesn't get fished anymore. Uh, using speed. Not sure if speed was the right call, but shield seems to have done a lot better. Evening it out. The Buzz is still trying to down on him. This might be like, this is definitely a very weird character to fight it's all of a sudden, especially on game three. I love the, the rollback team. Taylor's playing extremely patient, spacing really oh, well. Oh my. My. That did so good. Pikmin. Literally went like from 0 to 50. <laughs> That's why you saw him switch his shield real quick. Because of, you know, like, whenever the Monado art activation like comes out, it's like, it cancels all landing lag and the aerials and like entry landing and all that stuff on activation. We see Buster here. Now, Buster. Uh, Buster, probably not the best option to follow now. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. I can see the future. Bro, he, he literally did a Thanos snap for a second. <laughs> and then it undid. I was like, no, no, no. We're not that balanced. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Wait for the sequel. The bus is trying to find his way in. The sword is literally just negating his big hit. Way harder than his grenade even a oh! But when you go for that high recovery, the buzz taking the opportunity to get that downer spike. All right, one stuck away now. Shulk seemed to work at first, but the buzz is another day in the office. He doesn't care if the character has blonde hair. The character has a big sword, doesn't matter. It's all, it's all the same in the eyes of Pikmin and Olimar. Oh, so close to the blast zone too, that would have been a scary situation for the buzz. Great patience though, and up just go for the up Ooh. smash. Another up smash at that, following up with the up air. Oh, just go for it again. Oh! Whoa! He's on, he's on shield right though. He's on shield I thought I was gonna kill. Yeah, it decreases the knockback that he gets. Yeah, 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 it's a gamble. Trade off. Oh, the up B was gonna kill, but the pickle got in the way! That forward smash with great range, and at this point, all the buzz needs is a few more opening conversions. This should be his game. Salem not giving it that easy though, jumping around the platform using each art specifically as it was intended. I mean, up kill? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh there it is! That slash. It's not gonna kill though? Wow. I'm shocked. What is that? An air? You gonna go for a back air? Another, uh, yep, oh! another slash? Another air slash? I'm not sure if that was SDI or what it was, but Salem's not giving up here. He's doing his best to try to find this edge guard, but the bud is not letting him. At this point, 90%. One more smash attack should do it. Now 159 for Olimar. All right, bring it to last stock. All things considered, a, 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 I can respect the pick. But the question is, can you get the upset? Can you get this kill right yeah, here? Yeah, this game is really what determines it. Switching to jump art. Shield, okay, smart choice right there. Nair to Nair, okay. Yeah, especially at this percent. 
Oh my goodness, fourth throw. It just, uh, the thing is, when he's in shield, he doesn't deal as much damage at the same time, too. So at this right. early percent, the bus can just run away with it. But he's just playing so patient. He's not showing any fear, though. No, he's not. He's literally staying grounded and waiting for Salem to just finish throwing around his sword. Is he going to wait? Oh, is he going to wait for it? Oh, God. the run up into up smash. Shield again. There we go. Now we can go in. Less risky to go in. Forward, that forward air from purple doing nothing. And nothing to note since shield. Oh, does my get God. Oh, oh can you imagine? Space. Oh, the smash coming out. Oh, 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 Salem knew oh, what was coming. Dude, that's the only thing that would have worked. This he won that! Literally, this is the Monado power <laughs> out here, man. I was gonna say, like, he switched to Shield Art, which at a high percent, great idea. Dude. But since Shield decreases per hit, those Pikmin that are chipping at him are decreasing his Shield. So the best option was to switch to Smash Art. And he, that was the all or nothing, and he landed it! It wasn't even a true spike, but it was still enough to kill him. And now Salem staying alive in the set, and all of that, this is losers. Isn't, that was it. His whole tournament, here in Atlanta, it was over, and he missed that. But that's what makes pros pro. <laughs> he got I, it. I'm literally just so taken aback. That was probably like yeah. You could have bet me a thousand dollars that right there. Someone said that. I would have bet you so quick. I was talking about his stroke too, like how he used stroke and doubles. It didn't really do like well in like him justice in terms of like doubles wise, but in singles, you could already see like I actually think this character is low key gonna be a problem in like six months. Dude, I, like I, look at Nico. I, I'm I want actually, everyone to just keep your eyes on Nico's Nico. Nico's got like. I'm actually thinking about it, how insane the last stock was. You know why? He had to use shield exactly to take the tank hits of those purple Pikmin. And the moment his shield was down, any one hit could have ended it. But he didn't get hit every single time. He was artless. I'm that was like a double-edged sword because let's say like he didn't get that down here. Because he's in Smash Art, it increases the knockback that he receives. So he would have been like literally disappeared if he got hit once. That was some of the, actually, I'll, I'll be honest, that was some of the most clutch play I've ever seen Salem do in my life. That Incredible. Really All right, Salem. The thinking cap is on for both these players. The buzz, pacing the buzz pacing again. up and down. He's got his fist to his lips. I wish we could see like a bigger player cap so you guys could see how they're pacing too. Yeah, it's yeah. Hilarious. The buzz looks like he's doing a TED talk right now. That's, that's the pose I see. Oh, on the stage too, like, looking into the look, audience. Looking into the stars. Let me tell you something about Shulk. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me tell you how he could see into the future. Can you imagine the reverse three? I mean. I thought the reverse 3 0 was going to happen with Ally against Tweak. So maybe my heart could break here, too. But the Madman went choking and he pulled it off. At least for one game. He's got two, two more to go. What's the pick here? Oh, is he switching? No, no, that would be too much. I think he's thinking about switching. My, my small heart. Is he going to switch the. He's considering it, it. It was a hard matchup. Like, he was just playing he, extremely well and patient. Vicky, honestly, he was winning the entire time. Apart from that last play, I think Allmart sticking Allmart here is the right call for him. In my opinion. Stick with, with Allmart. I feel like if you switch to Paulo, that's him getting up. In my humble, honest opinion. Game two, or game four, rather. He's staying patient. He's staying grounded. He's not trying to contest up. But, like, when that wall of a sword is up, it's like, what can your pick from necessarily like, do? You have to wait for nope. him to land. No pun intended, but this pick from the Buzz to go to Town City might actually be a double edged sword because. This is Shulk with jump animation and these deep platforms go really high. You can find yourself in an early kill at 70. Might not have been the right call, but we'll see what happens. Shield. Shield. Shield Monado is actually a hard counter. Super hard counter to, to Allmar. Yeah, especially when you can just tank these hits. It's like, okay, keep going. I mean. All right. Buster going deep. Okay. Edge opportunity once again. The smash. Oh, look at the. Oh, the call. Oh, my. Oh. He really rolled behind it. He really did. He looked at him in the face and did it. Speed art, though. This character is actually super intimidating. You're, you're, you're playing five different characters at once. And then the shield, staying low again. Well, He's happy to trade there. The yeah. smash. Jump. We also have to consider how many Shulks has the buzz played. Uh, I'm going to say less than five, <laughs> at least. <laughs> you don't see Shulk very much at all, but... Every time I played a Shulk, I've been completely like bamboozled. I have no idea what to do with this character. Maybe that's why someone's playing it. He wants the weirdness factor. He's not going to play Snake because if, if, if the buzz wants any matchup, it's Snake. Yeah. This one, not so much. Back. Great spacing on Sailor's yeah. part. You can smash, and that's very close to death right there. Yeah. Olimar's also Upbeat. a very light like, character. He is. Speed again. Can you cancel your Monado once you do it or no? 
Uh, I, I think you can cancel it. Like, yeah, you can switch it immediately. But it's, it's gonna last for a few seconds anyway. And what's interesting about the Shield Monado is that the Buzz has no option but to wait until it leaves. And right there, you're just sitting duck. Because nothing's gonna kill a Shield Monado. Even if you're, you're Olimar. Five minutes on the clock. Both players keeping it patient as Settle has found himself in a potential position to make an upset once again. Up the look though. What? what? Am I crazy? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought just, I thought uh, he was at 141, but he's not. And now the shield, look, he's going nowhere. Oh no. Yeah, he's in shield. I mean, he's tanking him his hits, but it also gets rid of shield a lot faster. He got the kill and jump! He, yep, with jump coming out. I mean, he was at high percent too. He's at speed. Alrighty, how much extra credit can he get with this very odd but effective counter pick? There's the buster. Buster does more percent, I believe, right? Yeah, and it's actually the longest art that you can hold on to. I think it's like 10 seconds, but I feel like we haven't really seen Salem use Buster too much. Although, now, since he's at low percent, the buzz is, um, he can track a percent like that. And I like how quickly, too, Salem was finding these Monado arts, switching frame perfect as soon as they can see. Okay, once again, he's, he's hard to hit. Shield, there he is, living another 10 seconds. Forward air. Oh my, he really tried to air spike across that shit like that. This, I'm, this is actually working, like, really well. <laughs> I am taking it back. Like the jump back, not trying to overextend right there. He's at nearly 200%, we're going to probably see the shield art coming out. Oh, it's actually charging up. The cooldown for shield is actually 18 seconds, so yeah. you can't be spamming that all the time. He's That's another thing, these arts have cooldowns for them, too. 203 for Salem. 212! The power of shield! Oh, the those Pikmin. Oh! oh! He countered the Pikmin! That's something else he has to worry about. Alright, I have never seen Choke live that long in my life. Salem is showing really quick. He is never out of it. Buster, though. Want to get in that extra damage instead? Okay, barely missing that down tilt. He's happy. This, this is... There's no reason right now to switch the strategy. It has worked incredibly for Salem so far. And the pack here going for the yellow Pikmin. Back here he's absolutely on this. Oh my up god! Tilt, immediately wiping out the bus's second stock. I like that he buffered the up tilt the moment he had the smash Monado R. And now he's got a full stock lead, Vicky. Yeah, and then this is also the, the, the fun game that you have to chase Stroke every time he switches to between speed and jump. It can be cut, quite beating, but since he has a lead, it's like, why not? Oh, he's just nearing everything he throws. I don't want to say it too early, but have we just found a strange counter for Olimar? I'm not even surprised. I feel like this character is going to be a, just overall a top 10 character in the I future. I can see it. I can see it. It just needs some time to develop right now, but it has all the tools necessary. All right, the Buzz answering with his own Pearl Pikmin. Not, now he's been chasing the whole game, it feels like. He's, he's literally getting... jumping around him. He's like, where are you going to catch me, man? Yeah. <laughs> and even he finds it, like, Sailor was happy to trade with his own Nair, especially with the Jump Monado art. Nair, Nair, Nair. Looking yeah, like Ike out here. here. Diet Ike. Air drops back into the platform. It's fine. Make the Buzz chase you. Tire him out. And there's the shield. Now you can approach. Very smart. Jab, jab, jab. And a Nair, now potentially an Edgeguard. No way! Yes, it goes Are so you far. Kidding me? And immediately he threw himself up the stage the moment that Smash Art was activated, too. Bro, Salem is about to reverse, potentially reverse 3 0 to Buzz. A top five player, potentially the best armor in the world, with a Shulk counter pick. If you're just tuning in just now, this might be a historic moment in Ultimate history. I can't believe it's actually working. And given how close Game 3 was, it was over. Honestly, it Salem's over. just really feeling it. <laughs> he's just <laughs> really feeling it right now. Wow. Yeah, he's I, oh, yep. The switch. I, you know, <gasps> I was thinking about it. Like, remember, oh, I, I, I felt like if he were to switch to Palu, that's kind of him, like, throwing in the towel. But at the same time, I want to see how the, how the outcome to this is. Because what if Palu just does a better job versus Shulk? I just don't really know. Other than, like, linger back, use auto reticle and explosive flame. That right. could be your best bet, too. But let's say... Uh, Salem has speed art on, or even jump. That's going to be two, tool, two tools that he doesn't really have to worry about. You're completely right. And as a reminder, the loser of this game right here will get ninth place in Momocon. They're out of the tournament. And now we're seeing both players switch off their mains for this game five. It's a very strange occasion. Oh, using jump right there. Okay, so they're just waiting. Shield, no risk taken. All right, it looks like Palatina's Nair is definitely going to be a great option. Lasts a long time. You kind of want to do that, given the fact that Shulk wants to land his own Nair so often. Speed will be effective here. Very hard Palatina to catch, unless you're the buzz. Great forwarder. Yeah, he's 
you see Sam actually going to kill a lot more often now. You see the buzz turn. Oh! Oh, this is honestly one of the most aggressive versions of the buzz I'm seeing right now. Well, only 12% on the buzz. It looks like this pick was exactly what he needed. Sam now has to re readapt. Oh wow, great air dodge though, timing it perfectly to maneuver himself around the buzz. I love the fact that Salem's doing the Nair, and as soon as the Nair landing diagonally through Palatina, got the smash, big hit's coming, potentially. Oh, respect, a lot of respect coming off yeah. of both these players. Oh. Rolling right into the explosive flame while he's in jump, not shield art, so that's definitely gonna do it. The buzz already popping in his chair, he's excited. That's the lead he needed. You know, switching to these arts are always a double-edged sword, and of course, when you're in jump, you actually increase the damage that you take. Dude, there, so. if that killed, I would have been concerned for my if life. You, oh, you almost got that no, that Nair almost killed. It was really weird. Ooh! Up air! Both times! That's not gonna kill with no art. No smash right here. Oh my god. With the empty hops coming from Salem, actually just respecting the buzz a lot more. It's like, I have a sword, but you have right. Nair. And that Nair's facing away from Palatina's Nair. Shield, all right, that's what he needs. Oh, oh, no way, really it kills! That. He really just did that. The he just ran up to him and did it. He's just like, backslash, all right. Even with less knockback, it still killed. How did he know that? Salem, who are you? Okay. And just waiting for Palatina to come to the air. And there's Buster, racking up percent as he needs it. But what can you find right there? The Buzz playing very safe. Nair to fair, jump. A little more evasive action from the Buzz, from Salem. Look how he just double jumps away too. He's just kind of baiting out the bus to approach him first. Okay. See, he's slowing down his gameplay overall too. I'm noticing that Palatina's dash attack actually and her forward air come out so much quicker than a lot of Shulk's options. That's why the bus is doing this often. Nair, but no punish right there. I don't think hesitation is exactly what we need right here. The range on Shulk. It's the so, range. You have to respect it. That's why you see the bus run up and shield instead of committing to anything else. Ooh, he caught his jump though with the Nair. As he switches to jump, maneuvering himself around the buzz. All right, still a fresh 40%, no art. The buzz is yeah, looking like Smash 4 Rosa right here. The wall is out, not letting him get through anything. Oh, There's yeah, a Nair. Again. He knew that he was going to jump right after approaching him and shield like that. Speed. Into a back throw. Oh, What's the shield? shield at a perfect time, Dude. avoiding that up smash. Not even last second. Last frame to switch, and he got it. Huge brain play. Ah, uh, barely living. Oh, what in the world? Oh, even with oh. yeah, the jump, he couldn't come back. I feel Alrighty. like it ran out right there, too. The Buzz saying, Salem, your shenanigans end right here. I am the Buzz. I'm here to win. Oh, wow. The spacing on that Nair preventing him from actually landing that counter. Dude, is it me or is it counter a booty move? Okay, that finally worked. It kept missing. Yeah, it, it misses a lot, but I feel like it's just because the Buzz is also like, spacing his aerials so well. Yeah. All right, the Buzz holding on to a big lead right here. Missing that grab. Great Nair from Salem, but can you get the kill right here? Okay, Jab's going to miss. What's the punish? Is that a kill? Oh, my. Oh. Oh, that would have been so crucial. Oh, oh that's it's a kill. kill. It's last oh, stock. Last last no last way. Salem, <laughs> is this the redemption arc that we've been looking for? The Salem... Shulk counter pit against the buzz, forcing him off of Olimar, and now it's last stock game five, a Nair! Oh my Two Nairs! You, you, the momentum is all in his favor, the explosive frame, we got Dude. the parry on that last hit. Where's the art? Picasso, where are you at? Where is it? He's staying fresh. Yo, we, we stay vanilla out here. He wants to stay vanilla. Look at he's not even trying to. I, you know what it is? It's just he's letting them just stay there. He doesn't want to waste them, so that way they have to be stuck in cooldown. Dude, no way! Oh my... Oh. Buster adding in that extra oh. percent. He wants to rack up that damage. Bro, look at the Nair. Hold on. Okay, using jump. Okay, every hit counts. One more. The shield. Back throw. Oh. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I don't blame him. He's at 102, but now he doesn't have shield, so the buzz could go yeah. in. The buzz is not making it easy for him at all. Hit after hit. Oh Takes 18 God. seconds for that shield to come back up. You don't want oh. that to charge. No way. Oh. The buzz. Oh. Look, Clever his shield, you. His shield is oh, so low. 72, going deep. Ah, 79. He's not even switching to smash either. He's just letting go. Oh my oh. god! I lied. Oh my god. I lied. No. I lied. The up what? Tilt. The up tilt. What? Oh. Oh. What just happened? This is the Monado power. Wow. He just did that.
Salem went choke and just reverse three out the buzz for top eight. For top eight. What a goddamn genius. What a genius. Think dude. about how many clutch <laughs> times he went to shield. Dude, switching to smash art. How many times did he frame one switch to smash art and literally took care of that stock? The moment that he closed out the buzz's second stock, that was his momentum. That was his art. That training art, that, that was the end result of that. He... That was research at its finest.